in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit brethren let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to, to people of good will we, we praise you we bless you we adore, adore you, you we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks for, for your great glory, glory. Lord, Lord God Lord, heavenly Lord, king O God, God almighty father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ only begotten son, son Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God son of the father you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father and mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Who can know God's counsel? Or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid, and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens the soul, and the earth in shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth, and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or whoever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high. And thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. A reading from the letter to Philemon. 
I, Paul, an old man, are now a prisoner for Christ Jesus, urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you may have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine upon your servant and teach me your laws. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them, If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into the battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brethren in Jesus Christ, we know that the leaders around us or the leaders of the world give attractive things and attractive promises to be their followers. And in today's gospel we can see Jesus is not saying anything attractive for those who are ready to follow him. But he is saying directly that those who want to follow him should denounce all his possessions. Possessions means all his relationships as well as all his worldly possessions. And in our life also we can see this encounter with Christ. And Jesus is also asking us, are you loving me more than anything and everything? More than anybody and everybody? If we are saying yes, we should do it with our deeds, with our thoughts, with our actions and everything. Let's pray during this Holy Mass. May we be a good followers of Christ who always walk with him and do his will all the time. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the, the only begotten Son, Son of God, God born of the, the Father before all ages. ages. God, God from God, God light from light, light true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten, not made, made consubstantial with the Father, through, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed be God forever. Blessed child, Lord God of our creation, for your goodness we are received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine I work of in my hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite at, may we assist by your Lord and have service. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only really experience the daily effects of your care, but even now, possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration. We acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name, the name of, of the Lord, Lord Osana in the, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending, sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis of pope and joseph a bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face a mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who sit your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take care of the sins of the world how mercy on us lamb of god you take care of the sins of the world how mercy on us lamb of god you take care of the sins of the world grant us peace behold the lamp of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamp lord, lord i am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say a word and my soul, soul shall be healed My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life. who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god o sacrament most holy o, o sacrament divine 
all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine